Greetings and salutations, my great friends. Uh, if the background looks a little bit differently, by the way, Kaylee, Gunnar, and I were in St. Augustine for the Christmas holiday, so wanted to explain that to you. So welcome to the second Wednesday video of your best year ever. And I want to start out this video with a challenge to you. If the resolution or the dreams you're going after in 2021 are resolutions and dreams you can accomplish by yourself, well, not to irritate you, but you're not dreaming big enough then. Okay, We want 2021 to not just be an okay year, we want it to be your greatest year ever. So if your resolution or your dreams are things you can accomplish on your own, you're missing out on something really amazing in life, and you're not dreaming big enough. So in last Friday's video, you heard me, you heard Kaylee, talking about beginning with the end in mind, okay? So once again, imagine I call you a year from now, and I say, hey, Billy Bob, Long time no talk. And you say, oh my God, John, it's been the greatest year ever. And I say, tell me about it. Okay, I want you to imagine that we're having that conversation right now. And you're tapping into your creative side. You're tapping into your imagination side. Okay. Last video, we figured out who you need to become as a person. Okay? When, you be, when you decide who you need to become as a person, that's when your dreams start coming true. So in this video, we're just going to have some fun and we're going to dream together. I'm just going to ask you a series of questions and just jot down your answers. There's magic when you take pen or number two pencil lead to paper and you actually take these things out of your head and put them on paper. So question number one. What would your dream vacation be? What would your dream vacation be and who would you be with? And kind of as you're writing out that answer, I really want you to think about how long would your dream vacation be? Like specifically, how long would it be? The kids and I, it's a month long vacation. And it's a very important thing because that means we're setting up the systems in our lives to where we can take a month off and not have a million emails to reply to, a thousand phone calls to re-answer. So how long would your dream vacation be? Where would your dream vacation be? And who would you be with? And that leads to question number two. What does your dream home look like? Maybe it's a dream condo for that matter. Maybe it's a dream houseboat. Maybe it's a dream camper. But what does your dream home look like and where would it be located? I kind of spent the better part of my life in Orlando, Florida. And for whatever reason, for a large part of my life, I thought that meant I had to stay there for the rest of my life. Now, one of the things the kids and I are doing in St. Augustine right now is we're determining if this would actually be a place we would like to live someday or just have a vacation home in. So don't limit yourself. Start paying attention to limiting beliefs that you have. Question number three. Admittedly, I'm not much of a car person, but maybe you are. What's your dream car? And imagine if you could show up at the dealership and just pay cash for it. And I love, I love with my coaching clients kind of spinning them on this one. I, I had somebody the other day tell me their dream vehicle was a black F-150 with black leather interior. Like get really specific on your dream car. And I said, hey, name unknown here. I said, what would happen if you got to the dealership and they didn't have a black on black one but they had a white one with tan leather and they could work you a really good deal on it. I said, would you wait for the one you really want? Or would you settle for the one that you don't really want? I said, it is your dream we're talking about here. 
and they kind of sunk in their chair and they went, man, I know where you're headed with this. And they told me settling in my life hasn't worked out too well. And I said, look, sometimes there's time to make compromises, but sometimes you don't settle for what you don't really want because it becomes a very bad habit. We settle for the relationship that we don't want. We settle for the health habits that we don't really want. We settle into a life that we don't really want. So think about that one on a deeper level. And that leads us to the next question. You can pop in the car tomorrow, take a road trip. Where would you go? And who would you go with? And as I said in many of these videos, if I could, if you could hit a magic button and become the greatest version of yourself, would you do it? I'm going to guess you pick someone that you love to go on that road trip with. And when's the last time you've been on a road trip with that person? Because I'm pretty sure it's the greatest version of you, which is where we're headed to so you can have this best year ever. You'd be going with them every few months. But let's go to the next question. 2021, your best year ever. What's a hobby that you would like to take up? Or what's a hobby you already have that you don't give yourself permission to do right now? Because I'm here to tell you that while dreaming is a beautiful thing and imagining a beautiful future is a beautiful thing, it's actually the present. All we have right now is this second. It's going to be that that gets you there. So every Saturday, I go allow myself two hours to dream. I pull my family into it when necessary. And then I come up with the action steps necessary to get to where I want to get to. And I remind myself though, that being incredibly present is the best path forward. So if you have a hobby that you love doing, you need to start doing it right now. And then I'm gonna close out these dreams with a really big question. Are you working in your dream profession? If you're not, what is your dream profession? How do you need to skill up to get there? But really what I wanna ask you is this, if you're not working in your dream profession, write out all the reasons why you aren't. And then craft I am statements for why you will be by the time 2022 rolls around. Life is short. You can't die with the music inside. You deserve to be the greatest version of yourself. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to live a life filled with love. You deserve to accomplish all of your craziest dreams. But you're going to have to move forward in 2021 to get there. So what I want you to do today is this. You and I, we all have 20 to 60,000 thoughts per day. And some people even say it's more than that, but you know, it just gets a little ridiculous at that point. You get the gist of it. The, the crazy part is you have those same thoughts every day. And if you're not where you wanna be in life, that becomes quite problematic because those are very recurring thoughts you have every day. So I want in this video to disrupt that thought pattern and how I wanna do it is I want you to sit down by yourself with those who you love, although you're, you can't force your dreams on someone else, and I want you to come up with 100, 200, 300 dreams. And then I want you to sleep on it overnight, look at them again in the morning, ask yourself which one would have the most impact if you achieved it, look at which one makes you feel the most emotional inside, Look at which one would just flat out be fun and kind of reflect on it. And then I want you to pick one to three for you and I and our channel and Kaylee to kind of work on together throughout the year. You deserve to live the life of your dreams. Dream big today and we'll see you on Friday. 
1963, Martin Luther King said, I have a dream. And that is a brilliant statement because we all have dreams. Commit with Dad and I to achieve your dreams. Please hit like, subscribe, and share.